So these are our cat shells. This is one of the best things I've ever done. We just got some pieces of wood and I made the bottom really nice by varnishing it up. And I found um, some decent brackets and I took some old carpet and curled up the corners a little bit and nailed, nailed it to the top and then secured the brackets and made these great cat shelves, which the cats absolutely love. And we'll put one of the little cat boxes on the top there and they love that. The problem with this is that this carpet gets dirty and I can't clean it. So what I'm gonna do is take up the carpet, which is just nailed on, and I just got my foam that I ordered. I ordered super thick stuff because I thought it would be really squishy, and I wanted to give the cats a super squishy bed, but it's fairly firm. But I think what I'm gonna do is dig out the middle a little bit so there's a little bed. And I'm going to use this, it's a really super soft blanket that sort of matches the color of the carpet. And I'm going to make new tops for the shelving. I got some Velcro. I'm going to make new top pillows, put Velcro on it and the shelf, and then put it on these shelves so that I can wash this stuff once in a while. So I want to get started on that project. But you can see the shelves here. And then there's one over on this side. There's a cat scratcher and a desk that they can use to get up on it. And then this is a great thing too. It's a valance. But rather than put it the way it's supposed to be, I turn it upside down. You can see it's on brackets. And it's a little secret cat walkway. And so the cats can get on it from the shelf on the far side and get up into that walkway and look down on it, us. And they just absolutely love it. So I will also redo this shelf. So this is me getting started on this project. Okay, what I did is I used the box cutter. I measured out the size that I wanted. And I used the box cutter and I just cut uh, one of the shelves and you can see the other one's already measured out to cut it. Um, I took the old nasty carpet off of this shelf so you can see what it looks like. And this is the one that I cut out and I decided I wanted to hollow it out to make like a little nest. Um, I may change it, but I like the idea of this. This is the part that I hollowed out. I just used the box cutter to cut down into the side and then cut this off. Uh, this is something I could use. And this is the fabric that I'm gonna cover it with. It's kind of soft. So I'm gonna wrap it in that and then add the Velcro to the shelf at the bottom of this and see how I like it. So here's the first shelf completed, and I have to say, Lynx, who is right now above here, laid down in it and was so happy he just kept rolling and rolling and rolling, and he was just a super happy cat. So all I did was sew the blanket around the foam. I sewed the Velcro into this blanket, and then it had a sticky side, so I put the other side on it and it's just sticking to the shelf and it's sticking there so if I want to wash it I can just take it off I actually stitched the end shut but I can just open the stitches and wash the blanket what I decided was that I ended up cutting out the middle so there would be a bed here and this is the middle that I cut out but I'm thinking I want this part more because it's squishier so on this next one I'm going to reverse it and play with that so you can see that this is my piece of foam and instead of cutting it with the bubble side up, I'm gonna cut it with the bubble side down. I just used a box cutter here 
and went into the foam and I'm cutting open like this. So that'll have a little nest on the inside. And then this will be on the bottom and be super squishy. And then I'll just stitch the same way I did that. And let's see how the cats look it, like it. Um, additionally, I'm gonna have a bunch of these middle parts left over and little bits of side. So I'll probably do something with stitching those together and make different shelves with those because the between the height on this, it might get a little tight for these shelves, so I might have to do something different. But this is where I am right now. So I have finished all of the new tops for the shelves on this area. If I were doing it again, I bought this extra thick foam because I thought it would be extra thick padding. I probably would go with the thinner foam again because all I ended up doing was scooping out the middle of the foam. You can see all the pieces right there to make little beds here. And I don't think the extra foam made it luxurious, but it was super easy to do. It was kind of a mess when I used the X-Acto knife to cut out the foam and cut it apart, but it was pretty easy to do. Um, just use this blanket, did a quick stitch to cover it. Um, just got a bunch of cheap Velcro of Amazon and it uh, glued on there and I sewed it on here and I just glued it onto the board and you can hear I can just put it on and off but it stays stable so I can put the whole thing in the washer if I need to or I can just take a quick snip and take the covers off and just wash that so I'm really happy with this the cats like it um, they like that they've got a little bed in there, so I think this is a really easy way to do it and a lot cleaner than way the way I originally did it where I just nailed carpet on top of it.